It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day and day two of our four day in Escondido. And uh, these are plants. I got a little ambitious. I'm not going to be able to work them in. I'll uh, pull them into the next job. We got a couple Dazzlerian Logissimums and the Xylocantha agave. But uh, everything else made its way back. And Haley and Kevin and Mel and Gordon and Hannah and Greg and I have been hard at work laying in the bones of this installation and I am super thrilled. Um, I pulled in some mammillaria, some very mature mammillaria from Brandon at Desert Theater. I don't usually do that, but I did this time and I'm so happy. Um, the client had purchased a number of pots that she said I could work in if I could. So I worked in four of them. She really, really loves color. So I tried to, uh, to pull in the most colorful ones while balancing the shape. I'm about 90% planted out in here. I still have some finished work to do. Here's another mammillaria from Desert Theater. And we have a new... Hands next to that? Yeah, so you kind of get a sense of, of the size. So gorgeous. And another little hack. We, you know, the sunburst aeonium that we got from Caesar. Oh, you want to show them over here, Hannah? They're stupid huge and gorgeous. But they are an arboretum, so they have that trunk, that tree-like formation. So I underplanted some cotyledon long fingers, and I think it's buttery. I love it. I love that little combo. Hides those trunks. Give a little pink flower. Then yeah, and the little pink flowers. I mean, it's just, I just think that's really cool. So we've got um, cherry chocolate chip, which is a new mangave introduction from Waterwise Botanicals. Very cute loving that and I got the most exquisite adorable phallus from Waterwise um, Trichoceros check it out just loaded with splugy blooms at the top what a cutie is it not then we've got the aloe plicatillus I got from also from Brandon at Desert Theater in this gorgeous aquamarine pot and then I staged some Crassula undulata at the base of it to just kind of soften it all up and tie it together. And as I predicted, we're going to need more rocks. Don't have enough boulders. So Greg's going to bring a bunch more uh, smaller boulders tomorrow. Here in, the, in one of the kidneys, we have one of our two 15-gallon uh, Palo Verde Desert Museums at the client's request. She loves this tree, and I'm happy. I, you know, this is my go-to tree in my succulent installations. I have this really fun, it's kind of an odd shaped lime green kind of pot that I wanted to work in. So I just packed ungees and some Aeonium Merlots in there just for funsies. We have another little Mammillaria from Desert Theater. The barrels came from Altman. They're spectacular, 15 gallon. They're just, looks like they put them in the 15 gallon cans and then pumped them up with air. I mean, they just, were so perfect. We're so thrilled with them. Um, the big things, the Hercules, the Bainesii, the Ferox, those came, the Draco, those came from Caesar at Sun Valley. My little Tonga Ensis, that came from Waterwise Botanicals. Look at these 15, or not 15, yeah, three 15 gallon aloe Cameronii in this big blue pot. Isn't that so cool? So we didn't eat, put them in here as cuttings because I really do want them to, to grow. Um, but we did distress the roots considerably so that we can encourage them to uh, turn more red. And what I'm doing right now, there's just some, you know, I'm tipping back the dead tips on some of the leaves. It happens. It's no big deal. Um, it's a little maintenance there. And... Yeah, so over here, yeah, I got a lot of plants still, but I have another whole fence line that I haven't even started yet. Check out this mammillaria from Brandon. Isn't this so gorgeous? 
And the top dressing, we're just gonna do more of the Palm Springs Gold, like what's already here. And I'm gonna do rubble to uh, delineate the kidneys and splash some black, I think. We do black lava. The, our client's not doesn't love the volcanic rock, but this Palm Springs Gold has every color in it already. It's got Vegas pink, it's got Southwest brown, it's got um, Cali gold. So anything else that I would bring in as a um, that third dimensional rock, top dressing is gonna blend too much. So I need to do splash around a little black for delineation. Then check this out. Our client was looking at a 3,000 pound boulder and was trying to figure out how to get it back here. We would have had to have taken the fence down and run like a reach lift back here. It would have been really expensive and I told her, you know what, I got you. So this same vibe, same carries the same weight, just three large Napa canyons and a barrel. Then over here, the guy's got the fountain in, and I'm gonna plant a barrel right here too. God bless barrel cactus, because they don't need irrigated and they're so tough. You can pretty much plant them wherever you want. So I wanted to pull the fountain into the installation, and to do that, I, I, I brought in the barrel. So you can't really see in the perspective that you're looking right now, but we've got kind of a round barrel circle happening around this round patio and this area although it isn't heavily planted in any way shape or form still feels very much like a part of of the larger installation then here is going to be a giant mammal area and i need a couple of small boulders to get this staged out but this i needed to keep very low profile because our client, that's the kitchen window, she does her chopping there. So she wanted a vantage point to the fountain and then beyond to her view without obstruction. So I did not want to plant anything here that was going to obstruct that view. You were watching yesterday, you know that there was a pink breath of hell right here, heaven, sorry. Uh, scrubby, nasty, and they relented and allowed us to remove it so that I can pull this little corner into my installation as well. Then down here, Greg's been working tirelessly today, uh, repairing and rerouting irrigation and um, hanging up a transformer for the lights. This is the fountain. The guys got that dug out. Greg got it leveled and staged. And then I'll be planting this out tomorrow once I get more boulders. This is kind of challenging right here because we need access to get back to the side yard, but I don't want to leave it empty. So we're going to stage a couple of flagstones right here, and then I'm going to plant narrowly against the fence and then go wider as we move out along the fence. And this is going to be really fun. This is um, a special bed because she sees it from her bedroom and from bed. So. I want it to be really dense and really pretty. So I'm gonna blow this out with Petalanthus macrocarpa, with Aeonium sunburst, with Crassula undulata, and with some really special, fun, colorful things from Oasis. I'll send Hannah tomorrow morning to Oasis to grab what we call the usual suspects. She'll get a lot of echeveria and some really colorful poppy things. And we'll just have so much fun in here. So this will be highly designed. Um, I'm really excited to do this. And then this hot mess, oh good Lord. So this is gonna get demoed, this whole uh, raised bed. And about six months, they're gonna do more um, paving concrete work back here. They're getting rid of these getting rid of this patio cover and doing a new cover. But in the meantime, this is so gross. So I'm gonna pull out the ugly bushes. I'm gonna pull out the chrysanthemums and I'm going to intake of breath. I'm going to cut down these jade and resize them. We're gonna keep the big, fat, beautiful trunks, but they're too tall and you can't see. And it's just such a mess. So 
this is just, we're not going to add anything to it. We're just going to work with what's here and make it shorter. It's going to look so much cleaner and better. So excited for that too. Uh, the plumeria that their friends gave them, Gordon actually had a really great idea to clump those together in the side yard in the front. And that's going to be my recommendation. I just couldn't work them in back here. No. So, you know, we'll plant them all in the front. We'll show you that later on in the project and uh, they'll be really pretty there. So, hey, yeah, thanks for all the birthday wishes and anniversary wishes yesterday. Greg and I are gonna go out for a special meal next week. I'm, I don't have much work next week after Easter, so we're gonna celebrate then. Thank you guys all so much for following, for commenting, for all the love that you give to me and each other. This has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity reporting from Escondido on day two with your succulent tip of the day. Bye guys. <laughs>